Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we have a captivating story about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who stepped back from their senior royal duties over two years ago and moved to California. Since then, they've given multiple interviews revealing difficulties within the royal family. Today, I have an exclusive that's sure to stir up controversy. I received a letter purportedly written by Meghan to King Charles III, pleading for the return of Frogmore Cottage, their former home in the UK, which was gifted to them by the Queen as a wedding present. The letter, dated October 15, 2022, reads in part. Your Majesty, I am writing to you with humility and respect to request the return of Frogmore Cottage, which holds such poignant memories for Harry and me of our first years of marriage. Following our decision to step back from senior royal duties, we forfeited the use of the gracious home that Her Majesty so kindly lent to us. The cottage was always intended as a place for Harry, Archie, Lily, and me to use as a base within the UK and to feel close to the family when visiting. England remains deeply important to us, as does being near family. Finding suitable housing with enough security has been incredibly challenging. Frogmore Cottage already has all necessary measures in place and would be the perfect family home during our visits. Most importantly, keeping it as a designated royal residence would allow Harry to pass the property down to our children one day, honoring your late mother's intentions. The letter acknowledges the immense pressure the royal family has been under and expresses Meghan's hope that returning to Frogmore could be seen as an olive branch to rebuild bridges with the family. She stresses that she harbors no resentment or bitterness over their change in status and concludes with, I understand if the circumstances do not allow for such an arrangement. However, I felt it important to at least request this opportunity to return home and demonstrate my commitment to preserving the special place Harry and I will always hold in our hearts for the United Kingdom. She signs off respectfully as Duchess Meghan. This letter raises many questions. If genuine, will Buckingham Palace acknowledge such a request? Is Meghan offering peace or making a calculated PR move to reclaim lost property? To get some perspective, I'm joined by royal commentator, Victoria Arbiter. Victoria, your thoughts on this alleged letter? Emily, if genuine, this move from Meghan is extraordinary. However, we have no way of verifying its authenticity. The timing raises eyebrows, especially after their Netflix docuseries, which caused further discord within the palace. Frogmore Cottage was meant as their UK home while working royals, not as a private residence for non-working family members. If taken at face value, the letter strikes a conciliatory tone, but whether it represents a genuine change of heart remains to be seen. Meghan overestimates her leverage here, and the appetite for compromise from Charles and William is low. This appears more like a PR maneuver than a realistic bid to regain royal residence rights. I agree, Victoria. This feels like too little, too late to repair family relations. A few carefully worded paragraphs after all the public back and forth feels disingenuous at best. Additionally, the Netflix and Spotify deals, rumored to be worth over $100 million, suggest reclaiming Frogmore Cottage might also be motivated by financial benefits rather than genuine family reconciliation. Ultimately, Buckingham Palace's response, or lack thereof, will be telling. Only time will tell if cooler heads can prevail or if this adds further fuel to the transatlantic tensions. Thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts on Megan's supposed request in the comments below. Until next time, 